Hey guys, Thundi E here, and usually this time of the year, I'm in Vegas covering CES, but this time we're covering CES from home. But I got to check out Samsung's brand new Neo QLED. Yes, you are wondering what is it? Well, this is Samsung's latest tech in taking their QLED TVs to the very next level. Now, if you're new in the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and of course like this video and hit the notification bell. So what is Neo QLED, right? Neo QLED is Samsung's tech where they've shrunk down the LEDs and packed them all together. So basically it's mini LEDs, but Samsung also says that this gives them uh, better backlighting all of around, so reducing blooming on the TV, also giving them more contrast, and of course keeping that color volume that you expect from Samsung TVs. Now I got to see the 8K and the 4K variants, and it looked absolutely amazing. And also we got to see some games. Now granted, I didn't, play the games but you know I had to check that out so they've got a couple of new features that I gotta mention that I think you like as a gamer so the very first thing is that the 8k versions will have more than one HDMI 2.1 ports I don't know how many but it's definitely more than one multiple ports is what they said the 4k variant will only have one HDMI 2.1 port that is not confirmed but that is what I am hearing also at least that's what I was told now when it comes to features they've got something called the gamecast which is really cool it's a bar that pops up at the bottom of your screen that showcases a ton of information and features while you're gaming, especially when you're playing on your Xbox Series X or your PlayStation 5. So one of the things, of course, is that it tells you uh, your resolution and what resolution and frame rate you are playing at. Also shows if VRR is on, if HDR is on as well. As you can see, this clip HDR is not on while Gears of War is on screen. So that's something to take note. But again, you can actually turn it on and off. And the final thing is the aspect ratio. You can actually change the aspect ratio of what you'll be playing at. So, uh, we can go from traditional 16 by 9, which is on screen, and move to 21 by 9 to have something more cinematic. Yes, you have the bars, but I kind of like it. And then you can also move to something much bigger, like 32 by 9, to have really super wide aspect ratio uh, for, of course, your gaming experience. And I think this is really cool. Now, some people may not like it. You can move the, as move the framing up or down wherever you want to. But I definitely want to play some Cyberpunk 2077 at at least 21 by 9 aspect ratio. I know some of you might not like the game, but I've been enjoying it on my Xbox Series X. Now, uh, the other feature that I do like, and they've added, and they've added a ton of features on this TV, besides all just the tech behind the TV, is uh, the addition, of course, of uh, boosting up Samsung SmartThings. Now, SmartThings does a lot more with talking uh, with all your Samsung devices at home, which is really great, but there's also the Samsung Smart Trainer. So the, the training software allows you to select different trainers that you can use, but you can also connect your webcam, allowing you to do the workouts with the trainer. Yes, you can jump around and do your squats or your jumping back and jacks on your own, but it actually tracks and matches your workouts so that it knows you're physically doing the jumping jacks and you're physically doing the squats. Can we say Xbox Connect here? Because literally this is what Microsoft was trying to do, but we can do it on our TVs, especially with the uh, brand new Samsung uh, Neo QLED. Now that's a pretty cool feature and there's also a bunch of other features using that webcam. You can also use Google Duo. You can use the Microsoft suite of software. You can easily, of course, connect decks to your TV. So there's a bunch of stuff you can do. Now, another thing with this new TV is the brand new remote and you're going, Okay, it's a remote, why should I care? Well, the remote has some, uh, some great sus sustainability features. Number one, it doesn't use AA batteries anymore. It's got a built-in battery. You can charge the battery via USB Type-C. Thank God for that. And you can also charge it with a solar panel at the back of the TV and you're going, really? Yes, it charges with your indoor lighting in your house, your apartment, your room, wherever you are indoors, you can charge it. And one charge, will last you a whole year. You have to charge it once and that's it. That is absolutely amazing. I love that. It saves on battery, it saves on charge time, just saves on a lot of things in general. 
Now, these are not the only innovations that Samsung had this year with their TV light, and I can't wait to check it out. They also had their brand new sound bars with, of course, the ability to uh, tap to play, so you can basically transfer your music or whatever you're listening to by just tapping on the sound bar. And you have features like OTS Pro and Space Fit Sound that give you better surround sound, letting you hear helicopters fly over your head and track that with the built-in tweeters in, and sound bar all together. I think those features are great. You've also got updates to Samsung's frame TV line making it thinner and more bezels for you to select from and you've got the bespoke uh, refrigerator line that adds a nice variance and balance to your, to your home giving you different styling colors and also some really nice innovation in refrigeration technology. There's a lot Samsung announced at CES this year but if you're looking at TVs make sure you stay tuned for the Neo Q LED TVs because I am excited to see what it brings to the table and I'll definitely be doing a lot of gaming on there once I get it in-house. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, let me know. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and always enjoy your entertainment.